What I see is something strangely not a person. This is the Armada portrait of Elizabeth I. And this is Mary Beard. I think there is a human being here, but it's a human being who is actually being converted into an image of power. One of the, the really difficult things about monarchy is how to make people believe that this ordinary person is actually somehow more powerful than the rest of us. Not everybody goes around with their hand on a globe <laughs> kind of saying, mine, right, mine. But I think you can't miss the pearls. As well as the many strings of pearls around her neck, Elizabeth is also wearing pearl earrings and pearls in her wig. They are also sewn into the dress itself. Pearls, classical symbol of virginity, and you look right down to what must be very close to her private parts. And what do you see? You see a big, big pearl. It's saying virgin here. The complex political world of the Renaissance was dominated by men. As a female head of state, Elizabeth had to be skillful in how she wielded her power. One of the things that you see time and time again uh, is that the woman in power is pushed away from being an ordinary female and to being as close to a man as you could possibly get. Now, Hillary Clinton and Angela Merkel <laughs> don't dress up in this kind of stuff, but you can see in Tudor symbolism, in Tudor kind of ideology, there's something very similar. And I think you see that in this picture. You don't see her body. Heaven knows what kind of body that lies under that. It's totally concealed. I mean, I can read this as a picture of power, and I can also read this as a picture of the costs that a woman pays to have power. I can read this as a very sad image. One iconic image. Three unique versions. See the Armada portraits of Elizabeth I together for the very first time.